Now I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create some foothills. Now because they're closer to the mountains that I placed in before, I want a lighter shade. So I've taken my one inch brush and I've tapped into a little bit of uh, some brown, green, um, some yellow and white to make a lighter value. And all I'm doing is tapping very lightly onto the canvas. As I turn my brush, it gives the illusion of going up onto the angle that I've created with my mountains. And I'm just doing rows, different lengths, and then I'll lift Hopefully my uh, hand won't block you, but I'm lifting upward very lightly on the paint to reveal treetops, or this could be grassy areas. And a little bit more paint, and just add some more. Now if I hold my bristle flat, then it gives the illusion that the lay of the land is level. I'm just lifting very lightly the paint to reveal the tall treetops or grassy areas. And maybe it goes over here. And then I'll lift these up. So this is all wet oil-based paint and it's very thick so when it dries you're going to feel a lot of texture, it'll feel like real pine needles depending upon how much paint you put on your brush. Now I'm just going into a little bit more of green and brown to make a darker value. So when I do another row it will look like it's closer to us. I'm tapping, but it's a very light pressure that I'm using. Barely touching the canvas. If I press too hard, then it just smudges the paint into the weave of the canvas. That's what I don't want. Maybe I'll turn my brush this way. Coming down. I am overlapping my last row as I go. And because I'm doing rows, it adds a lot of levels of my foothills. Now I can add a little bit more paint for even darker shades. So I can add darker, meaning closer to me, more foreground foothills. This adds a lot of interest, draws everybody's eye into the focal point. In this case, it's the beautiful mountains. Now when I tap in the paint, I'm tapping very lightly into the paint also. Now this is demonstration purposes, so I'm not going all the way to the end. I'm still going into the, well there's a pretty color, green and brown this time. And because I'm brush mixing, do you see how you automatically get different values? So it's automatically going to look very natural. And that's how you can create some beautiful foothills.